Just the way you make me feel Just the way you make me feel Just the way you make me feel Upper echelons of music, popular music, mainstream music, debuting at 100 on the Billboard Top 100 charts. This is amazing. This feat at such a young stage in his career. You see this for youth from the east side. This is to be applauded and to be used as motivation for those who claim they have the top prize and those who say dance all at freedom arena or habitat this is where they belong then prove it bad man or prove it the empress we live in a time where streaming and connecting to your audience are, has never been easier and you are telling me that if I am a top dance hall artist I can only stream or sell 3,000 copies or stream an equivalent to 3,000 copies. Come on, get out of here with that. Come on, man. We have to start exploiting the mediums that will propel the, the genre of dancehall to where we can compare it to the mainstream, the, the pop um, genres in terms of numbers. We need to capitalize on branding, doing interviews, strategic planning as to how to release albums. These are things that we need to fine tune and set a framework, set a framework for others to follow. I always wonder why our dancehall artists aren't getting the, the, the exposure that they deserve or the credit that they deserve for their influence on society on a whole and when you look at it you notice that the artists are very talented but they they aren't really engaging fans from across the world using their pra platforms or using other platforms popular platforms that we can use to build a brand build a, a personality build an image build a fan base a, a real fan base there seems to be a breakdown in the expression of our music globally in terms of numbers. It obviously boils down to not enough marketing. Do more interviews. Show your personality. Not only through music or stage shows. Show, show a different side of you. Most of the artists I... I hardly see quality interviews from our dancehall artists. It's mainly just dead and everybody is inside of a box and I, I am cool and no one wants to be relatable. Everybody wants to be on a high horse or just thinking you are much greater than you are. And this is not about any specific individual. It's about the culture and how it benefits the industry and lovers and fans of the industry and how we can grow together that's basically it it should be once in a blue moon you have a skilly bang or a coffee who light up the whole place we, we should be consistently consistently on the levels of mainstream genres or pop genres i think so due, due to the impact the sheer impact and influence that our music has on the world i think 
it should be at a better state than it is at the moment in terms of numbers one thing i know men lie women lie numbers don't so if you claim to be one of the best in this genre of music dance or reggae what we love what gives us hope through life you i'm talking you generally if you want that zone that position that title you have to prove yourself prove yourself to be on that top tier bob marley shaggy sean paul don't you kill her beginning man those who have achieved great things Shabba, in their in their careers as recording artists dancer reggae buju those people who have paved the way for the new school skilly ben is following the grace that have come before him but he is doing it in his own style and fashion i think we have, as consumers uh, need to give the artists room to experiment with the, the, the song that's the only way we can propose our culture to be on the same consistent on the same level numbers wise because no one can question the impact of dancehall and reggae globally positively whether you're talking about social justice equality all aspects of life dancehall and reggae has played a significant role but i'm talking about as it relates to the, the benefit of the culture to the benefit of the artist something must be done something must be done and skilly bang has started that, that process of taking us out of the dark the dark ages of the hazard we have a new sound let's let us perfect our craft don't don't just give a, 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 a produce a song because you want a few that you, you want a, a, a dub money or you just want some money remember this is your legacy 10 to 20 years from now you want your music to stand out like the bounty killers like the Shab shabarangs like the cartels like the bujus like the, the, the yellow mans like all the greats before this is what we should be striving for the betterment of the, the culture it's time it's time we start to emulate other cultures other both business models of music because it's obvious that the ones that we have now for dancehall in terms of mar marketing projects in terms of releasing in terms of strategic um call out plans for your albums themes album themes those are things that we need to be better on the the, the, the finished product the finished product, the, 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 the series of songs, how many songs you do, how long does the song last, how does that song, previous song, transition to the next one, and what does that mean for your album on a macro scale? What's the theme? I, I, I see a lot of artists making albums with, without a, a theme, without a concept, without a like a, a, a general idea without a target market without a target population you just making songs for making songs sick we need to be more structured and i like the push that i see what we need to do in order to try and get dancer to where it needs to be from a numbers perspective dancer is too big of a influencer to for for somebody who we can consider the top one of the top artists selling three three thousand copies are include inclusive as of streams three thousand copies come on get out of here get that how i hear get that how i hear that that album went triple copper we need to bring more structure to this industry we have a lot of artists that are interesting like Shensio. like she has the image going for her she has the branding and i hope Sk skilly Beng follows that path as well 
but congrats to Skillybang on his achievements and I expect to hear much greater or at least consistent levels of achievements in the years to come you're still young you're motivated you're conscious you just need the right people around you to benefit or to exploit this newfound clout for want of a better word this is a science guys if you are an artist you have to take it seriously if you want really want to be successful you have to take it down to the science just the way you make me feel just the way you make me feel just the way you make me feel